Guys, up everybody. I'm a little late on this, so I apologize for that, but, um, Blackjack Mulligan passed away on the 7th of this month. He had uh, health issues. He had a heart attack months before it, and I guess he has kind of just passed away. Maybe he had another heart attack, I don't know. But so, you know, I'll tell you a little bit about Blackjack Mulligan. Now, I didn't watch him wrestle because, um, I wasn't born in 88, but he, he was a Hall, he is a 2006 Hall of Famer. He's holding multiple championships in the NWA and other wrestling companies that I've never heard of, like the WWA and, like, Texas, you know. He was a brass knuckles heavyweight champion, apparently. But, yeah, Blackjack Mulligan was known for being a very tough wrestler. He was, like, six foot nine and 340 pounds, and he, um... He was actually friends with Ric Flair. Ric Flair mentioned him a lot in his um, Hall of Fame speech and stuff, but he's holding multiple championships, never in the WWE. Um... He was with a tag team, um, the Blackjacks, I believe, and they were they were tag team champions as well. But Blackjack Mulligan was a very tough wrestler. He used to play professional football for, um, I think, the Jets is what it was. And um, you know, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit. Of, I'm just telling you a little bit about him, so you guys don't know him, because um, in our generation, we don't know who half these legends are. You know, I don't even know that much about Blackjack Mulligan, but I am gonna acknowledge his death because he was mentioned in Ric Flair's Hall of Fame speech. And, you know, I wanted to say, I wanted to acknowledge his death because it's the least I could do. But yeah, um, there was a, um, and loving memory on Raw, but it wasn't more of like, you know, what they did for Ultimate Warrior or, you know, if, if wrestling's really popular, he gets a big old tribute show. And if he's someone who they don't really care for, they just kind of have in loving memory or whatever. Sometimes they don't even acknowledge wrestlers' deaths. But yeah, Blackjack Mulligan, um, he, he died at 73. He lived a pretty long life, and he had a lot of success in wrestling. Known for being very tough, and he will be missed. And um, rest in peace, Blackjack Mulligan, and that's all I want to say. Have a nice day. Bye.